I used to think that money was a problem to be solved. If I could just solve the problem of money, then I would be able to live a life of freedom and fulfillment and joy. And what happens when we think that money is a problem to be solved is that it gets us into some trouble with getting the money. Because we think we just solved the problem of money, then we could really be our authentic and good selves. And so we do things that we might not normally do in our authenticity to get the money. Whether it's a job we don't love or some money getting scheme that makes us do things that we don't love. So, I want to suggest that money is not a problem to be solved. Money is an opportunity for connection and advancement. Now, let me explain. Where does money come from? Your money comes from other people's spending of their money on something they want. So, if you offer something that someone else wants at a price that feels like a good deal to them, they will happily give you the money. Now, what happens is sometimes we think, gosh, I think I have such a great thing. I'm entitled to get the money from other people. Why aren't other people getting me the money, giving me the money? So I have to learn marketing to make them give me the money. I have to learn persuasion. I have to learn sales. I have to learn clever psychological tricks to get them to take action and give me the money. But truly, what's more needed is for you to, if you see, the, if you see money as, the, as an indicator of people's wants for buying something they believe will improve the quality of their life, okay, then the motivation ought to be how can I better understand other people? Now there's lots of other types of there's lots of types of people in the world. There are some people in the world who have a certain set of wants that you would be so happy to create something, a product or service, to fulfill those wants. And it's your job to figure that out, to understand different types of people until you find the people that goes that you you, know, you see, oh, they have the wants that I would be so happy to fulfill those wants at a price that I would be happy to offer that they think is a great deal. So several years ago, I stumbled upon a practice that I started doing multiple times a day. And it really shifted my worldview from, I think, a more scarcity type of worldview, money is a problem to be solved, to a more positive and uplifting worldview where I see money as an opportunity for me to, to have greater understanding of other people and to give them something that uplifts them, that moves their life forward, to help them have a greater quality of life and therefore helping to move humanity forward one bit at a time. And that practice is where, is I call that my energy reboot. And you, could, you can actually find it if you Google energy reboot George Cow, um, you'll find my blog post about that. But essentially, it's a, it's a breathing practice where I'm breathing and, and um, kind of a spiritual breathing practice that really helps me to feel deeply secure about my life. Back then, I wasn't secure. Financially, I wasn't secure. I felt like I had money problems. But doing this practice reminded me, reconnected me to the present moment, which is always fine the present moment unless you're in physical pain but the present moment we often get lost worrying about our debt or our money problems or whatever it may be but when you when you reconnect to the present moment and for me what what also helped was my spiritual faith that our souls are always on a, a trajectory towards greater understanding and love and power and wisdom and goodness and all that stuff we can't screw that up. That's what I believe. So whatever practice you need to do, everybody may have different practices, but whatever practice you need to do multiple times a day, it only takes me 30 seconds to do my practice. I do it multiple times a day. Whatever you need to do multiple times a day to reconnect 
to a deep level of financial, not fi deep level of psychological security for yourself, remembering that it's all going to be okay. And then when it comes to money and your business or career, to reframe and says, okay, if I have a lack of money, okay, it's not a lack of money. It is a problem of being disconnected from the present moment. Because if I have fewer desires, if I reframe my desires, if I change my desires, if I have fewer desires, I, don't, I have fewer lack. I have less lack. Okay? When we have more desires, we have more money problems. Right? When we have fewer desires. And then the other side of it, it's like, a, it's like two sides of the coin. One is realizing that money problems is your own lack of connection to the present moment. It's it's desire problem. But on the other hand, it's like, oh, what is money? Where does money come from? Oh, it's it's understanding and and, and caring for others properly so that they would be happy to give you money. Right? And so having this perspective will hopefully help you to go forward and to do things that make money but in a much more positive way that excites you that makes you feel connected to humanity and makes you um, feel more and more caring of, of, of what others are wanting so I hope this is helpful and um, always open to your comments and your questions and so until the next video, I wish you a, a mindset, a heart set of deep security, of needing nothing, and of having a positive view of money being a connector between human beings to move humanity forward. Take care.